Hi and welcome to AFTV. 2-1 win here at the Emirates Stadium. Oh, at, half first half was a bit ooh, ooh, squeaky bum, even though we had a lot of possession. Um, but in the end, we came to fruition, came, come and got the job done. Nice three points. Happy with today? Absolutely. I think coming in, I wasn't sure what to expect. I think uh, Ivan Tony not playing really changed their game plan. Yep. Um, they weren't able to be as direct as they probably normally would be, play off second balls and kind of get their midfielders involved. Um, I think that played into our hands a little bit and it meant that we could dominate the ball. They didn't really have an out ball. They had you know, two uh, centre forwards that worked hard but didn't really have the opportunity and the ability to hold the ball up. And, you know, and that's on the flip side, one of the challenges and the issues that we have in terms of our centre forward and the inability for a centre forward to hold the ball up. Um, so the first half, I was sitting there going, oh, you know, this could be a long one, this could be, you know, and then they're good at set pieces, so you're not quite sure. And then obviously we go in and score early in the second half yep. and that completely changes changes the game. Um, Smith Rowe, I think, was quality today. I thought Saka was quality. I thought so many of the boys today were quality. Um, it, you know, it's hard to really draw negatives. Um, you know, you look at Lacazette and look at you know, look, look at that. The, 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 the challenge for me in the situation with Lacazette is that he doesn't have the ability to play against two centre halves and hold the ball up, which means that he drops deeper into the midfield to give him the space and the time to be able to play off. So if you look at the goal that we scored, I mean, it comes from him. He's dropped deep. He's picked the ball up. He's turned. He's played. He's received. So for me, I think it's a I think we are going to be heavily reliant and we're going to have to accept the fact that we're not going to get goals from Lacazette for the next three months. And that means that we are going to have to get them from Martinelli, from Saka, from Smith Rowe. Um, so, so do you keep him in the side then? Yeah. Do you keep him in the side? You keep yeah. Lacker in the side? So yeah. You say we need goals from other people, yeah. but you have to have Lacazette in the side yeah. for that to work? For me, you do, because I don't know if the other players that we've got that can play in the centre forward position mm -hmm. are good enough to do what yeah. he does. Yeah, and I think sometimes, unfortunately, we're going to have to understand, you know, Arteta's got a really specific um, characteristic and profile that he wants from that centre forward and he doesn't have it in the other players. Martinelli, I'm sure, will go on and be a very good centre forward moving forward, but at his age now, with his experience, it, that isn't him. Yeah. He doesn't have the ability to go and engage and do those physical battles in the same way. Mm. And like I said, look, Brentford came here today and without Ivan Tony, they, they they just weren't the same sort of they weren't the same sort of side. And I'm not saying that you have to have the most glamorous centre forward in the world and you know we all, everyone wants that, but actually sometimes you have to say, right, actually what I need is a centre forward that can the ball can pin to his chest and he can then start to bring players he can then yep. start to bring other players into into the game. Lacazette does that but he does it from a much deeper position because he can't deal with the physicality against two six foot three centre halves. So you're gonna have to understand that Saka, Smith Rowe, Martinelli Pepe, when he gets involved at Erdegaard, are going to have to chip in with our goals. And it's a massive two or three months for those players. But, you know, I know, whilst, I know a lot of people are saying, take drop lacquer. For me, he has to play because of what he yeah. brings to it. But we have to understand that what you're now asking is, those, is of those four or five players, one or two of them have got to step up every single game. And if they don't step up every single game, then it's going to be a, a long 90 minutes. OK, does, um, does Emil smith -Rowe keep his shirt for you next week or do you bring Martin Lee in? Does Martin Lee now have to wait his turn like Emil smith -Rowe did? Um, no, so for me, Martin Lee's back in. OK. Um, Who did you drop? Smith Rowe. I think Smith Rowe. I think Smith. I think Smith Rowe goes. Don't look. He was. He was. Don't get me wrong. Look. He was absolutely excellent today. He's our top scorer. I think there are still issues and challenges around his physicality and his ability to play ninety minutes. Yep. Um, and therefore, I think until whatever that issue is is resolved, I think he probably does need to drop out. I think we're going to have weeks. And like like I just said, we've got four players that need to turn up, and we need them to turn up and show up every single week. So. In some respects, it doesn't really matter who you start because you need them all to turn up. Um, and I think there's a the one week where I think the Liverpool game's been switched back in, and we're going to have three games in in the space of yeah. in the space three of six, hard three hard games in the space of six days or something like that. So for, for me, for me, Smith Rowe drops back out, but that's no discredit to him. That's almost a credit to Martinelli and how well Martinelli's done um, over the over the past few months. Um, and I think we get goals from all of them. And I think we're. we're I'm confident that we can get the goals from them because I don't think we'll get the goals from Eddie or from Lacazette. Um, 
and therefore you're asking it's a big ask on those players and that's the, that's the issue the issue is they're such young players to kind of have that level of pressure put on them for the next two or three months in terms of whether we do or don't make top four and how that then helps the club to propel over the next two or three seasons it's a massive ask and you know, whatever uh, faith in that Arteta has put in them credit to him um, but it could hugely backfire and that's the issue the issue is are you putting too much pressure on players who you know still need to learn they've still got a lot to learn about the game they should be coming in and they should be looking at leaders they should be looking at senior pros and kind of leaning off those mm. senior pros and you know and we shouldn't be having situations like the like the armband situation like that yeah that shouldn't be happening on the field in front of 50 60 thousand people yeah. Um, you take the armband, you slip it to Tierney when no one's looking at a corner or something, and you just, you, you know, you just crack on with it. Yeah. You don't sit here and you know make it really clear that you don't want, you don't want it like yeah, that, that's that. unprofessional, that's horrendous. Like, yeah, as as a, as a fan, I'm watching that, going, I, I don't know what. I think I've just seen something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, like, it was I bizarre. Didn't even, I literally didn't even believe because it looked like Lacazette was trying to get his attention when he was coming off, when he was giving it the older. Uh, oh yeah, he was giving it all, that, all yeah. he was giving it all of that, and. And then Nketiah's literally gone up to him and he's gone, no. And I'm like... Yeah, it's a weird one. 